Hello everyone. You'll notice that today's video does not sync up with the audio because as I was recording this unboxing of the Apogee Hype Mic, I forgot to make sure that my headset was working. So uh, this part of the recording I did not have the headset on for and I'm just explaining what my existing mic setup is. I, I use this Plantronic Savvy Office headset for a lot of recording because it's simple, uh, but I also have a condenser mic plugged into a USB mixer. So let's get this going. Yeah, I'm opening up the cute little case that the Apogee came in. You'll see the microphone itself is a little smaller than I expected. It came with a nice zipper pouch for USB cables and it included a number of cables, including a traditional USB uh, lightning USB for any of you iOS users. It also came with uh, the USB-C that I'll be using with my Android later. And like I said, the standard cable for connecting to PC. Uh, one of my favorite things that it includes is a windscreen. And this is pretty neat because it actually connects directly to the microphone to get rid of some of those pops and hisses. We'll see how things go. It also came with an Allen wrench that I showed briefly. I wasn't sure what it was for, uh, but I'll show you in a moment here. Right now that's where the stand connects to the microphone directly. It has uh, one front button and one front dial that you can also push in and those control the volume and the hype setting, which is pretty neat. It's got built-in compression. So right now I'm just plugging that in and we'll take a look at how the stand connects. It is uh, quite a heavy stand um, and the connection seems very sturdy, but for some reason, the legs seem to like to slide if I have them on a smooth surface. And I will show you here. Most of my desk is a smooth surface with the exception of my uh, mouse pad area. So I kept having trouble with the stand sliding down. I uh, adjusted the mic around a little bit. The stand does have some nice settings on it, so you can put it in a few different positions, um, but none of the positions uh, seem to resolve the issue that I had. And that, that little um, silver area in there is where the Allen wrench fits in to loosen or tighten these legs, but unfortunately they were already tightened all the way so the sliding wasn't caused by the tightening um, i'm still gonna look into some more information on maybe finding ways to resolve that but when i set it on my <laughs> mouse pad here i was able to get it to work now what i did forget the first time i set it up is that i screwed the mic on but uh, the windscreen has to go on behind the microphone so you'll see it's fairly easy to just unscrew it and put the windscreen on behind it I had a little bit of trouble um, as you'll see holding the windscreen on while I was reattaching the microphone it's not entirely intuitive and out of the box, it doesn't really come with any instructions on this. It's just kind of a general uh, guide, mostly about the buttons of the microphone. So at this point, I've got it all set up and I'm going to get ready here to plug it in and we'll get some recording tested. But first, I'll uh, play you what the actual Plantronics headset sounds like first, so you can hear the comparison. So to compare the Apogee Hype Mic with my headset, take a listen real quick. I would never normally sing into this, but we'll just sing a little bit. Uh, Sometimes I wonder if you can hear me screaming out your name 
in my sleep. Just a little bit of dreaming of you. Now's my first attempt with Ableton, but you'll see latency is still an issue. So the great thing about the Apogee Hype Mic is that it has its own output. So you can plug your headphones directly in and boom, no more latency issues. Now you won't really be able to hear it from the recording that I did, but you can see that I'm finally able to sync up my recording. Hi. I'm uh, rebooting, as you can see, so I'm going to see how the Apogee Hype Mic works with my mobile device. Let's give it a try. I have actually never plugged in any kind of external microphone to my phone before, so this should be interesting. So it said my headphone lock screen settings have changed. The voice settings allow Bluetooth request with device locked. Okay, got it. I, my only choice was got it. Now, so I just use this little app to record things with and I'll just quickly record with the native microphone that I would typically use. And I'll sing a little bit of a song that I'm working on called It Won't Be Long. So just shine on and stay strong and know that it won't be long till we'll be rocking out again, singing loud without end, dancing around in the streets, making up our own beats. A little bit of tweaking. Okay, now I haven't installed any apps yet, so let's see if it'll just record into Tape Talk. So just shine on and stay strong and know that it won't be long. Till we'll be rocking out again, singing loud without end, dancing out in the street. So sadly, I could not tell that it wasn't working with Tape Talk on my phone, and I'm not sure why, so I'll have to look at some instructions and see how to get it properly working on my phone and let you know in another video. Kind of hard to see this little guy. He's so tiny. But I've been recording this entire video audio except for those snippets on the headset with the Apogee Hype Mic. So let me know what you think. I'll be trying some more of these settings like the Smash setting. Let's see what that sounds like. Smash setting. Ah. Hmm. I don't know. I think it might sound even better. It kind of brings out a little more of the room now. Well, you let me know what you think, and hopefully this will get me making even better videos and finally getting some songs out for you. Thanks, everybody. I love you.